Happy Wednesday, fellow furniture dorks. This is Teresa with the Raycom Collection, and I am Melissa Morrow. And today we are going to go over all of the cool thrifted things that Miss Sue and Melissa went to buy without me. Um, you were working. I'm actually not speaking to her right now, so this live should be fun. Yeah, so Teresa did work over the weekend. Yes, I did. And I pretty much work. See, we. Oh, no. The, the part that she never gets is that I only get, like, she gets to paint at her job. I do. It's kind of fun. And I get to paint after work. That's true. It's kind of like your stress therapy. Right. So for me, um, I usually work all week, and then in the evenings, I'm in here painting furniture. And on Saturday, uh, I had decided to take the day off because my granddaughter was in town and they decided to go out. And so Sue and I decided that we would um, shop without me. We would go thrifting and have some fun that way. And then the kids came back and went in the pool and, and then we all hung out in the evening. So we had a great time with the grandkids, but mm -hmm. um, yeah, I had a great time thrifting. And this is actually one of the thrift stores that I frequent. So I went after and I got one thing I'll show you later. There was one thing left. There's one thing left. Yeah. I we bought out the entire thrift store Pretty except much. for that one thing. Let's get into this. Yeah, what let's get yeah, let's get into it. So um you're gonna start painting some things. So let's talk about what you're gonna start painting first. Yes, so let me put my glasses on so I can see your prices. Okay, I always buy these when I see these matching um wooden salt and pepper shakers. They're awesome decor pieces. Um this was $4.99 for the pair. That's a pretty reasonable price. I was gonna say, what would you usually pay? Um I'm no more than five for the okay. both. Yeah, and I would usually sell these for like $19.99 for the set. So I'm gonna start working on these and we'll keep talking through and see what else we got right. here. Right, so she's looking at $19.99 on those. I bought a lot of stuff that I wouldn't normally buy um, because I've been watching so many thrift haul videos that, um, <laughs> well, everything's been shut down. So I'm stepping a little bit outside of my comfort zone on some of these mm -hmm. and I'm really looking forward to playing. Yes. So candlesticks are always kind of a gimme uh, and I'm oh, probably gonna paint these right up, but this candlestick was, oh, I don't know, but it's about the same as this. So I think they were all $3.99. Um, so I have three of these black candlesticks that were together and they were $3.99 each. What oh, they you... were together, all three of them? For each. Oh, yeah, for each, okay, okay. Yeah, $3.99 okay. for each. Okay. Um, I don't know, I think they'll probably go for at least like $12 to $15 a piece. This big one actually might go close to 20. Yeah. It's glass. Yeah. So nice. we'll probably, I'm just going to set these aside because I'll probably paint these here in a few minutes. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll probably just paint those white, do a little distressing, a little white distress, and get the black to come through. Yeah. What? Your light's not on. Oh, my light's not on. We're oh, good. We oh, what are we plugged in? Is it making a difference today? Oh, there's Hi. some light. There's some light on the subject. Um, again, candlesticks. These are silver candlesticks, or at least uh, tarnished resistant silver plated, right? Okay. Um, so these were $2.99 each. Would you and go just as is on these? I'm really going to go as is on these. I think they're really beautiful. Yeah. Um, I personally would buy them like this. They're beautiful. Um, they yep. would just look really pretty in my china cabinet or mm -hmm. whatever with some of my vintage stuff. Absolutely. So I'm going to leave them as they are. Uh, I'm thinking about like probably $14.99, yeah, $15.99, so. somewhere in that ballpark. They're solid too. So yeah, they're really heavy. They're, they're great. So will you pull these off to the side? And just so you know what I'm doing with these, I love to do this with the salt and pepper shakers. I'm just going to paint. Actually, you know what? I'm not sure if I'm doing it like that. I taped this to paint from here down and keep the wood. I think I might just paint the bottom a color and leave the rest of the wood because these are in really nice shape. So they're just fun decor pieces then. $2.99 candlestick. It's absolutely hideous, but oh. it won't be when we're done. Right. And 99 cents. Sweetness. Sweetness. Again, these are going to range at least, you know, 12 to $14. Right. Once they're painted. Um, I'm looking forward to painting this box. That's you cool. actually might have seen that there were some metal panels that I was like, oh, I don't know, I'll think about them. And then somebody came and scooped them right out from underneath me. Gosh, don't you hate when that happens? It's really terrible. <laughs> so this was sitting next to it. I did come back for it when I went to look back at the metal panels. This is $3.99. I'm pretty excited about this one. I might keep this one back to paint. I'm gonna give her the candlesticks actually, and I'm gonna paint this today. All right, let me see if we've got some comments going on here. I guess I should probably open those up. Was there anything in the video that you, like, you were like, oh, please buy it, please buy it, um, that you, 
that we didn't buy that you would have bought if you were there? Because I always think that's interesting. Hi, Dawn. Hi, Joe. Um, Leah, Connie, Jessica, you girls, you go. I bought this half pineapple. It's like a bookend. I love those. Um, and this was one dollar. Seriously? One dollar. Such beautiful detail. Between nine and twelve ninety nine. Feels it feels resin. Um, yeah, it's great. Love that. Talk about this piece. I love that. I love this. I don't even know if I'm going to paint this, to be honest, because I love it so much. Again, as it is, I would put it in my house this way. Uh, $4.99. For me, this is going to be like $12.99, $14.99. Uh -huh. um, and I think it'll sell quickly. It has really nice details. I will say if we do paint it, we'll probably paint it white, mm -hmm. and, we'll wet, and we'll wet distress it, and it'll be beautiful, and it'll sell. Yeah, absolutely it will. Just so you know, Leah is loving your shirt today and your pineapple. She's got her eye on. Yay! Thank y'all. Um, okay, so this is just like a little a little desk sitter. You could put a hook on the back mm -hmm. and um, use it. To me, it's it's like a little, almost like a little mail station, a little cute little drawer. I'm probably gonna do something kind of fancy to this one, uh, $1.99. That would be cool. And you know what, with everybody working from home lately, this would be a kind of nice addition to your little workstation at home to give you some organization. Yeah, when I'm done, because I'm gonna do it kind of fancy, like mm -hmm. I'm expecting to be closer to like $14.99. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. You would have bought the liver and stomach. They were hilarious. Oh, the I just, cuffs or whatever they were. Yeah, they were they were hilarious. I'm gonna yeah, get I don't this. think I've ever seen anything like that in my life. I don't even know what the point was. I'm gonna get this out of the way because it keeps getting in my way back here. Two ninety nine. I just think it's really pretty. Um, again, we'll probably paint it, wet distress it. Um, Weren't you and Anna talking about maybe like turquoise wax turquoise, on it or something? Turquoise, yeah, something like that. Give it a boho look. Um, two ninety nine. I think this is gonna be probably ten ninety nine, twelve ninety nine, somewhere say. in that ballpark. Yep, I would think that's fair. No, leave that for me. I want to paint that. Oh. The pineapples were two ninety nine. Um, I don't know how we're gonna paint them. I actually don't want to paint them. I do. But, but she does. I think they'd be and, cool, like blue or something funky Yeah, like that. see, I mean, I feel like I actually really like them the way they are, but she doesn't, so we'll probably paint them. Aw, aren't you sweet? So two ninety nine. what do you think? I would think... So $6 for the pair. I would think nineteen ninety nine for the set. Nineteen ninety nine for mm -hmm. the set? Yep. If it were me. So this one's a little iffy on me, but I know everybody loves clocks, and I actually mm -hmm. bought a lot of clocks. I think I was channeling Zeb Ray, <laughs> or Zeb, Zeb, Zeb Jamie, yeah, yeah that's Zeb right, Ray. that's or right, Harrington. I think Miss Jamie's maiden name was Harrington, and I think she's Jamie Ray and Zeb Ray. Okay, yeah. I hope. So okay, I didn't think, screw that okay. up. Sorry. I so I was channeling Zeb because he loves clocks, and I bought I don't know like five of them. Did you really? Yeah. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Oh, a woman. Uh, uh, yeah, I think five. Five. Um, so this one is a little different because this is a lot of brass. But I thought painted up, we actually could clean it up and make it cute. Mm -hmm. um, this was four ninety nine, so I'm gonna expect about ten to twelve dollars. Mm -hmm. um, let me show them this real quick, just because. Yeah, yeah. So, so I thrifted two on my day off on Sunday. I got an item. So this is a big galvanized tub. It's a nice size. I paid five bucks for it. Um, I think what I'm going to do is put one of our um, Prima's, or they're not Prima, this, what is, are they? this is the Maker's this is Studio. The Maker Studio. Maker Studio stencil. Mesh stencils. Mesh stencils on the front, like that. And probably ask $24.99, yeah, say. Yeah, I think that's probably true. Yep, super cute. I tell you, I picked up one of those on the side of the road one day because Sue called, Sue called me from a house. She was photographing a house. And she says, you have to come and get this bucket on the side of the road. And I went and picked up the bucket. I barely even cleaned it out. This is when we owned Linen and Rust. Okay. I barely cleaned it out. Um, I stuck a price tag of like, I don't know, what it was like $25, $35, Almost something like that. like a like don't that. sell tag just to yeah. put it on there. And it sold like within a couple of hours of putting it in the store. And that. it was just, it was literally side of the road garbage, totally rusted out. That's my favorite, favorite thing to do. I know. Is bring stuff back to life that people just discarded. So two ninety nine clock. I expect this will be um, probably ten ninety nine when we're done. And I've got these two little clocks 
that were $1.99 each. Again, same thing, paint them up. I think they'll be in the $10 range. Oh, hi, Miss Jordan. Miss Jordan's and they'll watching. Be, they'll be really fast uh, updates. Um, and just so you know, we are using, or I am in this case, DIY paint and Farm Fresh on my little, on my little, I keep wanting to call them candlesticks, salt and pepper shakers. So we're going to work on those. Let that dry a little bit. $3.99 for this. Sweet. Um, you just... want to take over then and I'll get started painting? Um, certainly. Yeah, we can do that. I'm going to let these dry over here. And I'll move this over here. All right. So Melissa's going to be painting. What are you going to start painting? I'm going to start painting this. Okay. So this, um, I guess this is a candle holder, like a pillar candle holder. It's got a little spot for that. Um, this design's pretty popular. Um, probably not the best finish on this, but awesome painted. They paid $3.99 for this, and it's actually pretty stout, pretty heavy. So once that's painted, a um, little bit of distress coming through. Oh gosh, at least $14.99, if not more. I mean, I feel like it's pretty heavy. So I'm going to give this to our Vanna White over here. I'm going to actually have to stand up. I don't know if you can see me. This, is there just one of these? I just have one. I have two corbels, but only oh. one. Okay, so each. this, um, is that what this is, is a corbel? Mm -hmm. Okay, Ooh. so, and actually this, really, it's got a hook on the back. Let's see all the detail in this. I, I guess it's a sconce. Yeah, it could be a sconce, because it actually hangs like this, and then you can put something on the top. But $3.99, it's pretty solid. So I'm guessing $14.99 on that as well, once it's painted up. Um, let's see, these are cute, I always like these. And what a lot of people don't realize is ceramic, you can paint it. You don't have to not paint it. Although I like this color. Yeah, I'm gonna these, say, I don't even think I'm gonna paint these. These are well like, market um, pieces, so these yeah, are actually like pretty nice. Yeah, I do too, if you, I don't know if you can see that close up, but there's crackly goodness on there. Um, so they paid $5.99 for this. I'm gonna do the Zeb thing. Look at the sun, well, my arm, it's a bad example. My arms are short. It's big. And then this taller one. Yeah, we're not gonna, I don't think the Zeb thing works for it you. It doesn't work for me. <laughs> Nothing's gonna work for me. $5.99, I can hear you laughing, John. $5.99 for these. So just cleaned up as they are. So they were $12 together. Gosh, I would say $29.99 for the set if we do it like that, or what do you think? Yeah, thinking? I mean, I'm actually thinking that we do it differently and we probably do that one at like, I think probably like $14.99 a piece. Okay. And that gets us closer to 30. Yeah. Because again, they are in great shape. There's no chips. There's nothing. They're just, oh, and actually, there's an original world market tag on here, $24.99 for this little baby. So you're going to get it less than normal retail from the store, and it's still going to be pretty and ready to roll. Thank you, Miss Vanna. I mean, Miss Sue. Yeah, no if problem. you're looking, it doesn't, you don't always have to, like, do something to it. Sometimes yeah. pieces are nice. And, and let's face nice. it, it's easier sometimes just to flip it just as it is. That's right. Um, these, I don't know what your plan was with these, but they're precious. The so those are plates. like some potential candle holders. I'll oh. pull these aside and kind of show some of my choices and okay. get some opinions. Alrighty. Oh, let me hand me that, Miss Sue, please. This is staying just as is. I love the look of this. So it is like an old world candlestick holder. You can put a stick in there. You can put a pillar in there. It is all cheap. You should have Sue up. put it up close Yeah, look, get real advantage. close with that and see. It's all, that's kind of how we paint things to look. So the fact that they found that as it is for $3.99, we'll clean that up and put it out as is for, what would you say? Uh, $12.99? Yeah, I'm actually thinking like $14.95. Yeah, it's very cute. What's the original price on that? I think it was $21.99. Yeah, original, oh, okay, okay. Um, all right, speaking of arms, they're short, I can't reach. Okay, so here is, this was $2.99 candlestick. It's hollow in the bottom. Not the best finish, but it's kind of cool. But I'm sure she'll probably want to paint this, you think? Or you... I kind of actually love the finish. Really? I mean, I don't know. I Metallics I are in, man. Metallics are, are in. While you're a stager, you would know. You yeah. own a whole business about it. So anyway, this was $2.99. So I guess if we leave it as is, $9.99? Yeah, think? probably $9.99. Okay. Super cute. Still a good profit, even doing nothing to it. It is. All right, I'm going to walk around and look at these jewelry boxes because... I'm kind of instantly obsessed with jewelry boxes now, thanks to mm -hmm. Melissa. Nice. Yeah, let's back us up a little bit. Nobody needs to How's see that? the... Okay, there we go. So, well, let's do this. Let's get this sconce. I bet this is a sconce, too, because it's got a hanging thing here. So, another piece. Two bucks. You, you need can... to turn that up. Your neck is... We don't want to see my neck. Right, well, what are we no, doing? we don't see anything. You don't see anything? What do you mean? Your neck is Oh, I don't care about me. I just want you to see the stuff. There I am, but no, we need any, to raise that up. Okay, yeah. So you don't need to be stupid. Okay. So this is a I guess a sconce. It's got a little 
shelf on the top and it's got a little plate holder there, two bucks. Um, looks like the original tag on it was $19.97. More. So More. I would say $14.99 on this. Yeah. And the finish is cool. I mean, would you want to paint it, you think? Yeah, or? I don't like the color very much. I do like okay. the finish, but I don't really like the color. Well, and you know, it's funny, you're right, because red a lot of times doesn't, doesn't tend to sell. But two bucks, $14.99 painted, super cute. Oh, right plate, plate holder. Yeah, that's why I said it's got a little plate rack on there. All right, who doesn't like chips and dip? So they've got this little set, $2.99, little wooden bowl, little ceramic bowl on the outside. So give me those black candle holders. And I think painted up, I mean, painted up, you could okay. use it as decor, um, but probably, I don't know, $10 or $12.99 once it's done up. Super cute. I'm going to set that over here for Miss Sue. Let's get to these cute little jewelry boxes. So, Melissa turned me on to these like literally five minutes ago because she's been looking up things online and people basically give these away. You probably can't see that. So this one is a bunch of cute little drawers, okay? It's got the little sides to open. And we have seen these done like super boho, super, um, who's the, who's CC the Restyle is yes. really amazing with the jewelry boxes. Yeah. She does some great jewelry box videos. She mm -hmm. has a group on Facebook for uh, jewelry boxes. Mm -hmm. And so they cute. apparently sell really well on Etsy. So I may... Give um, it a try. I definitely want to have some fun doing something I don't normally do. Mm -hmm. And uh, painting those up. And let's see what they can... So I'm going to say online, I looked at the Etsy. And right. they all average for one that size. Probably about $65 right? when they're really, really done, done up. up. And this was $6.99. So what's fun is if you paint this up super, super fancy, super colorful, it's just a small piece. It's just a small box. So it's not like a piece of furniture like this where you might be a little nervous about having it in your home. This would just be a cool little small statement piece, which I think is cute. I mean, you wouldn't have to use it as a jewelry box, but you still really could. So $6.99, paint it up pretty. And Trust. I was trying to make sure when I was buying the jewelry boxes that the velvet was in good shape. In good shape. Yeah. Clean. It wasn't stained. Speaking of, here's another one. This one was also $6.99. It's got the inside with the mirror and the hooks. One nice drawer. Another cool potential boho. You could even put a little transfer on the top. We sell the Prima transfers. $6.99. Again, you could go $49, $59. Bucks. It just depends. I keep saying we need the little ballerina on the spring. I haven't seen those in years. Not in years. <laughs> I had the treasure chest one with the ballerina inside. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you remember those. We're dating we're ourselves. <laughs> we're, we're, we're the same age. -ish. Yes, we are. Yes, um, we are. I, she likes to remind people I am a few months older. I was going to say we're not exactly the same age. You know, I've got a little bit of youth. Even in mere months, I'll take it. I'll take it. Trust me. All right. We got little whale guy. He is brass. He is solid. He was four bucks. Melissa thinks he's cool as he is. I'm not a fan of brass, but it's great condition brass and it would sell totally fine as is for what you're thinking. I don't even know how to price I'm brass. I'm thinking like 14, 15. Mm -hmm. And he's not bad size. He's probably like five inches. His little tail's a couple inches up. He's cute. He's swimming over to Miss Sue. And living in Jacksonville, Florida, he's definitely a Set the butt up here so I can. Okay. Am I shaking you too much? Okay. Um, so, this, we love old boxes. Yeah, I'm excited about this. One. This is cool. So, just basically a box, a wooden box. All the, well, I don't know about original hardware. It's got cool hardware. Funky little designs on it. Um, it's got the little latch to open up. Very nice condition. It's probably like eight inches tall. It's a nice size box. They paid seven ninety. Yeah, probably closer to twelve inches. Tall, you think? Okay. Um, seven ninety nine. They paid, and I'm sure you're painting this something oh, funky. Um, but boxes like this, people love these just to have them around, just to like store little goodies in, and they're just a neat, just a neat little accent piece for you know for a, an area. Um, gosh, you could sell these. I sold boxes this big painted for thirty bucks yeah. or more. So. Look out for that one. I think she's going to get a little fancy on this one. And if you can hear anything growling, that's just my stomach. I'm always hungry. Um, you want to tell them what you're, how you're doing there, whipping through the paint? Yeah, so I'm, I'm using White Swan by DIY, and we sell it online at rayfoamcollection.com. And I'm using my Klingon brushes because I love my Klingon brushes. Because we love them. And um, 
so far I've managed to paint this piece, which uh, I think it really shows the detail mm -hmm. in it. And um, it'll be fun when we go wet distress it later. Or I might choose not to wet distress it. I may choose to white wax it Ooh, or yeah, to yeah. dark wax it to pull it all off. Because this is like bright red underneath it. So I might not wet distress it. I would do dark wax on this. So I think, I think a cool. wax might be the perfect mm -hmm. thing to really pull that out. Mm -hmm. And then I'm working on white swan on these three candlesticks as well. Kind of trying to plow through and i'm just very slow i'm gonna look some comments here um jessica how many different stores did you go to for all of this ladies without three me? three stores three stores um, without me but i will say that the vast majority of it came from the goodwill on san jose the one that i went to for my one piece look you were gonna go earlier in the week because you leave here at three o'clock every day i did at one point you did at one point that is true but yeah, well, you've gotten a promotion since then, so. Um, and I'm very grateful for that, by the way. But I'm never going to let you live this down. Yeah. So. Just saying. So you could have gone. We discussed every day. I know. We really that did. The, the flea, that the store, the Goodwills and stuff were back open. So. And in fact, they're even open after I leave here. So I should stop whining and just go right after work. Right. Um, we have a comment about, I'm guessing this box here from Miss Laura. She's saying it looks like a wood old camera case. Love it. What is the price? Well, um, so it's not a camera all, case. What is this? Yeah. So if you open it, it becomes super obvious what it actually all is. Right. And we paid three ninety nine. Paid three ninety nine. Oh, sorry, wrong one. Um, I was thinking of a different one. It's oh. this one I was thinking. Oh, okay. Of. All right. So this. So is... it might be a wood camera case then, but I don't think so because it's velvet lined. I think again, it's this is garden. This is Garden Ridge. It looks like it was originally seven ninety nine at Garden Ridge. Okay. Okay. Um. So I I love the shape of it. I, I thought too. it was great. Um, I'm going to do some fun, fancy things to it mm -hmm. um, because I'm just in the mood to do some fun, fancy things. It's just kind of fancy. And I will probably sell it for like, uh, depending on how it all comes out, probably between $12 and $14. That sounds fair. All right. Okay, that's from Miss Vanna. This is else. the one. This is the one that I was thinking that would be obvious. This is a little, like a little Bombay <gasps> box. Is that an elephant? And it's got a little tiny elephant. Oh, um, so I'll let to show you up close the elephant. And inside uh -huh. it's got coasters, but it's missing two of them. So I will definitely take the coasters out. I may take the little slots for the coasters out mm -hmm. as well. Um, either that or maybe I'll find some coasters and put some coasters in. Yeah. Because we sell a lot of coasters. We sell some uh, coasters. This one I'll probably keep more simple. Like probably. a trinket box or something. Yeah, maybe. just make it like a trinket box. Mm -hmm. I love the little brass elephant. Me too. Though. He's adorable. You want to give him a zoom And his trunk is open? pointed up, so that's good luck, just so you know if you didn't know that. Miss um, Laura, can you do the second door? brown jewelry i guess i should put my glasses on so i can actually read what you're saying mm. oh there we go can you do the second door brown jewelry box can you paint it in a friend in a friend tv scene so i want it in a i'm not quite sure what exactly that what means but um, i'm gonna let you read this can you do comment. the second dark brown oh, dark brown jewelry box can you paint it in a friend tv scene oh like the mood like the show like friends? the show friends like, um, if you can find something that you that you want, let me know. Are you looking for like friends decoupage on it? Are you looking that it belongs in the friend's house? Do they have some purple or something like the walls? I know were purple there. Yeah, I, tell, give me a little more information, and I'm happy happy to do that. Yeah, that would be fun. Yeah, it'd be fun. Actually, be fun. All right, so what are we doing here? What the heck is this? Those oh, are trivets. trivets. Hey, I love seeing finding these. This little guy, little wooden trivet, two dollar. Two dollar. What movie is that from? I want my two dollars. Do you remember? Yes. No? Yes, All right. I know that one. I'm sure, we're gonna either paint that or actually the wood's cute. I don't know. Yeah, I probably will paint it. Yeah. Because I okay. that looks like all the detail would really pop. Yeah, it would. With some distress. With a little distress through. Distress. And these are little metal trivets. Oh, these are cute too. We got the little butterfly and the little set teapot. Super cute. These were also two bucks a piece. I would say. What? I think they're gonna be like six five or six, five five ninety five six yep. ninety five somewhere. I think that sounds fair. And another oh I love these again another kind of desk organizer type piece. This was five ninety nine. And again, folks, a lot of people are either having to homeschool the kids um, or you're working from home a little more now. So it'd be nice to have a little area to designate for that. And this would be perfect to like organize some things. Um, I'm definitely, definitely gonna paint over these. that. Yeah. I'm definitely gonna paint over that and probably do like a so transfer or a mold over that, so, um, so that it will go from five ninety nine maybe to like 
$22.99 or yep. something. Right in that yep. ballpark. It's yep. solid and it's got a lot of little compartments. Super cute. Is there a price on I don't love now? I don't love painting the solid little compartments, but well I don't yeah, I don't like the inside. That's where spraying comes in handy if you are able to do that. Let me get over here and show you. We did set up a spray booth downstairs, but we haven't um, done any smalls in it yet, so we'll see. Yes. Um, oh, speaking of jewelry boxes, here is another one. Oh, that's cute. I didn't see that one. That's just a little, little, can you see me? Okay. Just a little jewelry box with a little door. It's got little heart etchings on it. Does this part open? No. Super cute. Man down. Everything's good. Oh, thanks, Miss Sue. $3.99 for this. Um, I guess it's going to be distressed now. Uh, anyway, so once it's painted, it'll probably be, I don't know, $12.99, $14.99, something like that. Yeah. It's in good shape. The drawers are nice, except for the one I just busted. But anyway, broken. there's this one. <laughs> Here, you want to switch it off so you can put yes. your sex coat on? Yes. Okay. So I... You just want to talk about my bread box. No, no, no. Uh -huh. I'll save the bread box for you, okay? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Whose bread box? <sighs> I'm the bread box queen, as they will tell you. We're gonna let Melissa talk and then we'll, we'll talk about the bread box later. Yeah, so she is the bread box queen. Mm -hmm. uh, even in the video, you saw Sue say, oh, and we know who can paint that, paint the heck out of that. And that's Teresa. So it probably will be part of her job here. She still gets to paint the bread box. We'll still let her paint it. Yay. And she paints the heck out of these dolls. She does. We sell the heck out of them. People love them. So this is a weird find. This was, was like question that. Um, $1.99, which is probably overpaying to be honest. But it's like a multi-pant hanger thing. But I thought it'd be great to hang some of our stencils from for organization. Yeah. You go, girl. They're always asking for organization. And I thought we have these stencils that are lying back there. Then I thought we could hang them up on the side of our metal racks to organize yes. them. Yes, I'm so proud of you. I thought you would be. That's amazeballs. And so this actually goes like this. So I really like this piece, $7.99. Uh, I think when we're done painting it up, it's going to be like 24 to 35, depending on how we paint it. I'm actually thinking putting some um, chicken wire oh, behind I here. I can't see the part. That's cute. Chicken wire behind here and painting it all out and maybe using a couple transfers or something. We'll see. Um, I love the transfers. I'm a little bit addicted. So. A little bit. A little bit addicted. A little bit, a little bit addicted. Yeah, anytime you want to pretty anything up and you don't want to do too much work and it's in good shape, throw some paint on it. We have the tran transfers and the mesh stencils here. It will just make a world of difference. It They're really so will. fun. So this uh, very patinaed, bra uh, excuse mm -hmm. me, silver pitcher, um, we paid $2.50 for, I'm gonna do absolutely nothing to it probably and put it up and I'm probably gonna put it at $9.95, but I, I love it. I love it just exactly the way it is. That is cute. She's giving me like ugly face. <laughs> yeah. If it, you care for, do you like it, Sue? Do you like that type of look? Or? It's all right. If it doesn't Put sell, flowers in there, it looks nice. right. if it doesn't sell, then I will paint it and I will do something pretty to it in a bright springy color. Mm -hmm. But I actually love the old patina. I know pieces. you do. Yeah. So and not it's solid. It's heavy. Not everybody has that opinion, but so these were three ninety nine each. Uh, they will get uh, painted. And then um, they will get uh, wet distressed, and they'll probably be $10.99 each, something, something like $9.99, $10.99. Not a huge markup on these, but candles always do well. And I may actually set these back till fall because in my head, when I grabbed them, I was thinking how perfect they'd be at Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah, they would. Absolutely. So they I would. may actually just paint these and set them aside until that fall season. Um, I am going to start stenciling, by okay. the way, my wonderful... Laura, explain her, her friend's comment. Um, okay, so Miss Laura is saying, in the friend's house, which I know it well, the light purple with a coffee shop theme for a teen birthday. Text her. Girl, we'll talk after this. Yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. So I picked up this little tiny clock. My mother-in-law collects clocks. And so to me, it was like a no-brainer that um, there's people who collect these things. Uh, this is Lennox, so good quality, and I paid $5 for this, and I'm going to do nothing other than clean it up, and I'm going to put it on the floor for $12.95. Sweet. Mr. Jeffrey is on. He said, love it. Great work. Thank you, sir. We appreciate that. Okay, I lie. I'm going to talk about Jeffrey is Sue's nephew. Oh. Tell Jeffrey I love him, and I miss him. Aw. 
So, uh, bread box. There's a bread box in the room. You want to talk? Bread box, you're doing something. I'm doing something. So, it's cute. Rolling top bread box. It's relatively clean. We paid $5.99. Um, Teresa will paint it up because we've, as discussed, she can paint the heck out of these things. Uh, and, so and what will you sell? What will we sell it for here? Uh, I would say that size, probably $39.99. $39.99. Not bad. Not yeah, bad. It's really not bad. And, there, and it'll be usable, obviously. It'll just be pretty. Okay. Got a nice bed pool in the back, which I didn't notice until now. Someone at the at the thrift store was actually jealous that we grabbed that before her. So the bread box. Yep. You go, Miss Sue. You get in there and you get a Cassie's, bread box. Cassie's Cassie. watching with us now. Okay, Cassie. Hi, Cassie. Um, as said, if you would like to come and paint with me later, Cassie, Great. you are welcome. Let Johnny watch the kids and come on in and girl. come on in and paint right. after hours. It's not straight. I can't tell. My brain is not straight today. Straightish. Yeah, it's straightish. Okay. Okay, so you heard me talking in the video that I needed candle plates. And I was constantly looking for candle plates. And so why I'm looking for candle plates is I have these candlesticks that we're gonna be right back. Our maker made for us. Mr. Nicholas, he does great work. Yep, Nicholas Kennedy. Um, he does great work. You can find him on Instagram as Third Wind Works. And he made me, and I actually have way more than this. Yes. He made me, I don't know, probably 20, 30 of these candlesticks out of old bed posts. Genius. Um, that we had. Genius. So we had some broken beds and we had um, uh, the, the spindles and things like that that nobody ever uses. Mm -hmm. particularly from the footboards. The girls like to use the headboards, but hardly of the footboards. Mm -hmm. So he made me all these great candlesticks and I've started putting molds around some of them and doing them, but I have no place to put the candle. Mm -hmm. So I've been looking for great candle holder, candlesticks, um, the holders, the plates. And so anyway, we found a variety and now I would love to know what you guys think. Mm -hmm. These are all gonna get painted up. So how you're seeing them now, it's just kind of how they're set up. Mm -hmm. um, we'll probably put some molds around the base uh, to kind of cover that connection. Mm -hmm. And so far they've come out really cute in painting them, but let's check out some of the designs that I got and see what you think. So I picked up these, which I really like. Yeah, those are super cute. And um, they're a little scratched up, so I probably would paint the outside of it but leave the glass inside, yeah, yeah. right? But paint so. the outside. But I thought these, I don't know, what do you think? Um, maybe even the small ones. The small ones, like, yeah, I agree. I think the small like, ones. Like, I think that's pretty cute. Um, I like it's that. Like a, it's like a candle in a little flower, almost. It's you know, like something, something like that. Uh -huh. Do you like Do you like these ideas? Yeah, let me do you this, know? I'll show you guys up close. Just so you can get a good look. Here is the candlesticks themselves. With the cute little y'all think and again everything painted up to blend and match maybe some molds around and those uh e6000 on top super cute and again i got this little group of little that little balls these little balls and then the candlestick right on top same kind of thing everything will be painted to paint. put together and then this will be attached so it'll all be cohesive but how cool is it to piece and part things together to make what you really want custom and so then i've got these plain plates so, oh i like the look of these little scallops so here's a, just a flat plate with a little it's not a scallop i don't know what that is it's cute though big candlestick right on the top once again paint everything cohesive maybe zhuzh it up a little bit with a mold and a plate on top you could put a nice big pillar on here you could put a big um boxwood sphere on here or you could put couple of little mini cupcakes on here. You could do whatever the heck you want. It's just a cute little, cute little. Okay, and I really like here, use that same one. I really like these, but these were $3 a piece and there was no way I was spending $3 a piece. However, I thought that we sell. This I gotta see. We sell this amazing mold rubber. Oh, yes. That I could make my own molds out of the plates that I liked the most. Oh, so you just got the one. I got the one. She's so smart. 
that. And then I could make a bunch out of the mold with resin. And then, how cute would that be? And then oh, I really cute. like, like put that on there and then put that on there. Put that on there and then put that on there. That on there. Wait, this one here on top? And then put Sit that on down. there. All right. I know, John, thank you. Yeah. Oh, Carissa. look at the double floral look. Teresa, Jake Thomas is on there. No, sir. Jake Thomas is not on there. Jake Thomas is my son who <laughs> never gets on. He's always in bed or at and school or at work. And Sorry. Luann Fife says hello to Hello, hello. Luann Fife. Luann, hi Luann. Hi. So there's that. Okay, I'm, in, I'm stunned that Jake's watching. Hi, Jakey. Okay. And then we got these basic things that came on the plates. And I thought yeah. the same thing. I, I, um, like these are, I feel like these are hard to find. Yeah. And so I might, um, what did I pay? I paid... It was for the bunch, right? For the bunch, I think I paid like $3 or something okay. like that. I don't see the tag. But again, for the littler ones, mm -hmm. maybe these smaller ones, yeah. um, so I could make a mold. Like that, and then I just... could make a mold and cap them Cute. Mold. Yep, perfect little candle holder. What do you guys think? What, what, ones, what combinations do you like? Or what ones do you hate? I like this. I really like this look. Super cute. Yeah. That would be a super fancy. Yeah, I mean, I think maybe on, like, on these bigger ones that that might be like... Oh, yeah. Where they look... It's almost like a flower budding or something. Because mm -hmm. they have this wheat... These are from wheat beds, you know? Right. But I thought these would be really pretty, like, on a piece like this. It's a little more elegant than just, it like, is. a flat top or whatever. It is. Making it a little more unique. Yeah, it's a nice statement. But is it too much? Do you prefer... Do you prefer just having, you know, a basic flat plate? I mean, it depends on your style, you know. That one does make it fancied up, but if you could do them in molds, you know, it really yeah. wouldn't take that much to do them. Super cute. So what are you thinking? What, are you what thinking? do you guys like? Oh, Jessica says hi to Jake. Huh? Okay. Hopefully he's on. Anyway, I'm almost done with this one. It's taking me forever. I don't know why today. Probably because I didn't thrift these items because I wasn't invited, so I wasn't It's sure not that you weren't invited. It's you were working. It's not that you were invited. You weren't invited. You were on, I'm you, sorry, nothing from the peanut gallery up there. I'm you sorry. were invited to your job. I know. Oh, did you hear that again? This is my stomach inviting itself to some pizza later. All right. I'm now, almost done. Well, I painted these all with white swan. And look at the difference. Isn't that crazy? Just depending on what you painted over. Mm -hmm. Awesome. All right, I think I did this good. All right, we're going to pull off our stencil here and see what the heck we got Speaking of paint, on. did you tell everyone the new paint line we're carrying? Did we tell everyone what? The new paint line that we're carrying. Oh, no, we didn't, John Morrow. Thank you for saying that. So as of just the other day, we are now carrying general finishes, milk paint, and all the good stains, and all the good top coats, and it's in the store here to purchase. Um, again, when we're able to, we're going to have classes, and that'll be a paint we can use as well. In fact, Friday with Painting with Patrick, we're going to go back old school and kick it old school and just do painting 101 and I think we're gonna grab some general finishes and have him paint with that. So just an awesome new line that we're carrying that we love in here. Yeah, all used it, all love it. And apparently Fridays are starting to be our um, our guest day. Yes. Because next Friday, not this Friday, but next mm -hmm. Friday, we have Carly Lozo from Top Producer Magazine. Yes. Um, coming to join us for Fab Furniture Friday. Cocktails with Carly. Cocktails yes. with Carly. So. I'm gonna miss that one. Or if it's kid friendly, we can be crafting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's probably not yeah. gonna be kid friendly. John's I mean, our fun I, I soccer. mean, we were, we're not gonna, you know, do. Luann says the fancy, things. she loves the fancy flower. Luann, I thought you'd like the fancy. That's my girl from Pennsylvania. All right. Oh, that's kind of that's kind of cool. All right, let me show you guys this and see what you think. Come on over. So all I did was take this five dollar galvanized big bucket and just put one of our stencils on there. And the mesh stencils are so nice because there's like no bleed. Exactly. It was a sticker, really. You stick it on there and do it. And it's it. reusable. Yeah. You can just wash those off and reuse them. And I did it purposely, not solid, solid. I wanted it a little distressed looking. So. Um, uh, and that's kind of it. That's all I need to do. I used DIY paint on that. Um, and on the inside of the bucket, it's actually cool because it's got some old it's got a lot of uses. rust and stuff. Set so piece, I like it. Can I keep going? So I'm done. That was easy. Got it over there. 
we have to we have this plugged in. Yeah, I know. We always do. Do you want to unplug your light? That little guy just done. reaches over. There's a third plug. Is there? Yes. Oh, okay. Um, do one of you guys want to go flying and also show them Miss Sue's wonderful little find with the tables? My exciting find. Yeah. Your exciting find. Because weren't, weren't you guys not going into the furniture section? We or? were not. We, we specifically, when we got there, mm -hmm. said we are not buying furniture. We do not need furniture. We have so much furniture to paint. You this specifically said that. I don't know that I agreed completely. She couldn't have because Miss Sue came back with what I have to say are pretty rocking end tables. They're unique and shaped funky and what are we doing we're drawing stuff okay. am, I, am i doing a flyover yes please flyover, if you please. wouldn't mind doing a flyover and i'll even let you tell them about what they are and i'm, I'm gonna look too because are there doors in them no i looked for doors there's okay. no doors but they are solid wood sweet they got the the Ooh, rattan in the top the little rattan the glass comes out awesome the rattan's in great shape i just thought these little babies would look pretty good with some paint on them yes i agree so that's, that's now what, what did y'all pay for those Sixteen ninety nine each. Sixteen ninety nine each. So they would go seventy nine ninety nine a piece. You think? Wait till we hear what Sue wants to do with it. Oh, do tell Miss Sue. Oh, I want to get crazy with my paint. I don't know yet. Oh no. I don't know yet. I, I I don't know. I keep changing my mind. She was talking about wanting to do them like china cups. Yeah, kind of like a, the 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 blue and white china. Like a whimsical. Mm -hmm. Like a, like yeah. a, with the stamps and a twall kind of. That wouldn't be bad at all. And then figuring out how we could do the china crackle. That would be cute. All right, I'm gonna just dry these off real quick again. These are super, super simple. I'm just gonna dry this and distress a little, and then I would end up probably waxing over these. And it just it just gives a little pop to a simple salt and pepper set, which there's salt in there, you said, right? Yeah, there is salt in there. All right, I'm gonna give it a quick zhuzh with the hot. I can't hot tell you how many times I've gotten salt on me now. Probably need to empty that. I'll just try these quick. So tell us, what are your favorite places to find things like this? I know y'all have thrift stores and Goodwills and Salvation Armies out your way. For those of you that aren't local, I don't know what's open everywhere. Um, things are slowly getting back open here. What piece was your favorite that we found? I can tell you for me, What's the bread box? Go. Duh. I know. I literally think I should have a t-shirt that says bread box queen or something. Okay. Teresa okay. bread box Lancaster. That's me. We oh, we're, that. we're making a t-shirt from something Sue texted me and we're going to make it a store t-shirt or something. Really? Um, uh, we're going to, yeah, I think we're going to um, figure out, I'll have, I'll have Kate. I've, I'll I've have, already got Kate working on it. You've already oh, got Kate sweet. working on it? Yes, ma'am. Okay, yeah. This I got to know. I got to know what's going on. Um, so we're going to have RHC shirts that say, say it, so you came up with it. What's this, what is it? What'd you say? Oh, I don't even remember what I did. <laughs> oh, God. She's, I'm an old woman. I don't remember things. She said, um, I don't know if I'll get the quote exactly right. I think she's looking it up on her Ooh. phone right now. I'm I am. Speaking. I'm looking it up. I'm looking it up. Uh, my cup runneth over. Now I'm licking coffee off the counter. <laughs> oh, my God. If that isn't true around here, I don't know what is. That's awesome. I think that, that suits all of us. <laughs> you got that right. Some of us more than others. So, like, that like was stressed, hilarious. Not stressed, too. Yeah. That's cool. um, yeah, we might have to do that. So, we're going to work on having Kate do some cool designs and I already have her working on some other staging ones. Nice. Um, so you may see some t-shirts coming our way. Yay. Um, that'll be fun. I know when we used to own the other store, you and Jody were constantly like, we need t-shirts. T-shirts. Like, Why is anybody going to buy our t-shirts? Right. But we'll see. Some funny sayings maybe we'll... Yeah, it'll be fun. All right. And this DIY paint, when you sand it, it's like baby butt smooth. It's so nice and so smooth. And then we're gonna put a wax on this. Can I not say baby butt smooth? No, you're good, you're good with that. Okay, so I'm saying baby butt smooth. Cause it is, it's just so super smooth. Anyway, so there's wax. So we're gonna put wax on these, but I'll show you the difference. I'll wax one and show you how this color comes back. And when you do sand- um, Salt's pouring out of that thing. Oh, that's <laughs> pouring out. Maybe I'll just it's do It's getting it. salt to Hold on. I'm Italian, I gotta like, do that Like, this for is good the luck. true salt wash, right? Right, right. <laughs> Maybe that was intentional, Miss Sue. 
Misty's cute. All right. Blonde. Let's put some wax on here. I'm not blonde. I haven't had my hair done in so long. I'm a gray-haired brunette right now. Oh, my God. I'm telling you what, girl. I need something to be. I haven't had my hair done either. <sighs> and no, you and Patrick, all you have to do is wake up and put some water on it or take your little razor and zip and you're done. Lily came in my office so excited yesterday that um, her hairdresser called her and they're starting to make appointments. She came in here and said that too. She was so happy. I and mean, she came in thinking her hair looked bad. I'm like, it's super cute like it is. She's like, it looks like I have a square on my head. I thought it was cute. She's, She's got thick hair like me and when it gets to that stage, it feels like a helmet. It just feels yeah. like it's a helmet. I used to make fun of my sister when we were growing up that she had a buffalo helmet head. But really she didn't. She has beautiful natural curly hair. All right, so I'm gonna wax one of these little guys just in a clear wax, a DIY clear wax. And we're using our Redesign with Prima wax brushes, which we also sell here at Ray Foam Collection. Uh, Another in-studio audience member. Hello, Miss Jessica. Okay, hello. All right, let's get this baby waxed up real quick. Okay, so what's going on, you guys? What's today? Wednesday. So again, Friday, we've got painting with Patrick. I'm um, pretty sure he's regretting his decision. I'm probably sure he regretted it from day one, but tough crap. He's committed. So that will be fun. That's how you know, because she calls him her husband, I do. but they're not actually married yet. So not he yet. still has the opportunity to get out. And he that's does. how much he loves her. He does. He's so good. Well, you know, I'm old, so he, <laughs> I almost said the age. Whew. So he's not my boyfriend anymore. We are engaged. Saying fiance sounds frumpy. So I just call him my husband. He's my husband. All right. 29. Come on. This is weird. This actually gave it a different kind of, I don't know, but I like it. So this is, what color did I use? I forget already. This is Farm Fresh DIY. So this is sanded and not waxed. Hang on, I'm coming up there. I'm coming up there. I'm sorry. So this is before, this is like not, ooh, that is a close up of my head. Sorry folks. That is before wax and after. And it's kind of got different variations of tone for some reason. I'm kind of digging it. Anyway, see the difference there? Super cute. Well, you didn't use a fresh clean rag, so there could have been some colors on there from uh, another project. And I'm gonna, I, I decided I'm gonna wet distress this. And these, since I didn't paint up towards the top, you could actually use these, they're still functioning. So I just kind of made, just zhuzhed them up a little bit. Is judge a technical term? It is. The painters it means use? fancied up, snazzed up. It's a word. A little zhuzh. Zhuzh. A little zhuzh. And then I probably will still choose to wax this, even though I'm, mm -hmm. even though I'm um, wet distressing it. But the wet distress really pulls out um, all the details. Yeah, that's got great detail. And I am soaked in salt. Goodness gracious. I really am. I picked a bad day to wear black and forget my apron. I've got salt and paint and I'm a hot mess. What but do you think? White wax so that it'll be really bright in those since it's kind of turned a little um, ivory or should I use dark wax? What do you think? So post your responses. Yep, let's take a look. Let's poll the audience. Audience members? Audience members are suggesting in the palette. Audience members are suggesting a metallic wax. Wait, uh, my comments must be slow. I'm not. No, the in that. the in store audience. Oh, I got you. Ooh, who suggested that? You, Miss Sue? No, me. Only because I, I saw it in the store this morning. I'm dying to see. It. <laughs> <laughs> it probably is not the right fit for that. Well, what better way to experiment than on pieces that you've thrifted for a very inexpensive price? Cynthia Ekret says dark. Yep, Miss Cynthia says dark. I agree with Miss Cynthia. Miss, oh, I just had a list there. Miss Cynthia. And see, wet distressing on pieces like this, it's it's a lot nicer to do, especially on metal with detail than like a sandpaper, because you don't want to scratch it to the point where you're getting down to like the shiny metal underneath. This is just nice to wipe it down and, and get those details there. Oh, I didn't even notice it had the little change. Yes, you cannot Cute. lose your top. Nobody wants to lose their top. All right. Um, oh, Cynthia also says antique gold. Well, aren't you sassy today, Miss Cynthia? Mm. That's a nice idea. Tell people what, what, what wet distressing is, Melissa, in case they don't know. So wet distressing is basically you're taking a clean, dry rag 
and adding a little bit of water like really it should be just barely water on mm -hmm. there so i'm again using a misting bottle to to wet my rag and then i'm just basically wiping over the areas mm -hmm. that i want the paint to come off and by doing that um sort of in this case i'm really just rubbing over it because this has such an ornate pattern that by just having that little tiny bit of water it it pulls back the the paint in those raised areas and the diy is nice for this being the clay based it just comes off really nice but i guess you could do this with our bungalow we could do it with our yeah any of the paints paint. any of the paints would have worked uh -huh. um diy does have a nice thick pigment to it so it is a super fast um paint to use for mm -hmm. things like this um really we just had it sitting here so that's mm -hmm. why we opted but general finishes um bungalow any of them would have worked for this hi miss kate thanks for watching and um cynthia also said the dark antique gold metallics awesome. got all kinds of them okay little so i'm just going to finish this little top okay. i'm going to dry it and then i'll wash it all right sounds like a plan you want to wet the stress yes yeah, can i sure i can do that i guess you know they probably need to be dry at first they're still a little like to the point where it could come completely off yeah maybe not right. quite yet all right let me move us on um, a little bit to get you some yeah, more let me have that okay. and then and then i'll give it to you and you can all right i'm gonna do move some of these out a little bit We have another member of the live, uh, live studio audience coming in. All right. We like live studio audience members. You're welcome. All right. I'm grabbing this to give it a light little. Hello, Miss Hava. When you come shopping, you never know when you might be You never, never, never know. <laughs> it's a cute color on you, Miss Hava. You're welcome. Oh, look at the accidental fun that's going on here. I don't have my glasses on. Ooh, that's a good thing. So don't panic. The dark, oh, hang on. The dark will wipe back. Let me have on that clean rag. Yes, so I don't use a wet rag because yep. I don't want to wet your. The, it will wipe back. And if you don't like how dark it becomes, the trick is where's the clear wax? Clear wax is all. So we're going to rub this into those things. It's really hard to do where you can't see the piece. So I do like that a little closer to me. I'm also just doing a wet distress on this candlestick. So, so if you don't like, huh? Love it. I do. So if you, you are obsessed with dark wax, Miss Jessica. If you don't like how much is there, you can always use clear wax and rub it right over and then it starts to remove. You can kind of see how it's removing some of that dark wax so that um, I don't mind it as dark down here, but up here it just felt like it was maybe a lot. So I'm gonna use the clear then just in random areas to pull some of that dark off so it's not too dark. What color was that underneath? Red. That was white. Look what that looks like now. With the it looks dark, like copper It now. looks like a copper metallic. So that is amazing. Hang on, you gotta see this up there. <laughs> just to call it. <laughs> That looks fantastic. Let me All do right. this section. Do your zhuzh. Go ahead. So this was red. Look at this. Can you see that? It looks like a copper metallic. That is so
super cute. Sold to Miss Jessica for $1.99. No, I'm just So what do you? It is. So what do you guys think? Um, do you like our flea market finds? Do you want to see more of this? Would you rather me go? Would you rather her go? I'm just kidding. It's so fun to mess with this. It's a work day to go. <sighs> you the know more what? The cars we have, the better. What's funny is, like my friend Jody and I love to thrift, but we really can't go together because we go for the exact same things. And I'm sorry, I want it. But then she wants it, so it's almost better. I'm almost better thrifting by myself. Because I just feel like if I was with somebody and they wanted the same thing, I'd be like, mm, you can have that. No, that wouldn't be me. But it's like it's like playing games. It's um, we were playing Uno at my house on Mother's Day. Um, we should do our own little flea market flip. What? We should do a flea market flip. That would be fun. That would be fun. Um, but I was, you know, I was I was playing Uno with my kids on on Mother's Day and uh, Somebody kept apologizing, and and my daughter Lily says, "What is true in our house? There's there's no love in cards. That's harsh, but probably true. Uh -huh. There's just cards. Uh -huh. That's true. So. More studio audience members for Hi, Donna. Hi, Donna. Hello. You should come and say hi. You should. Oh my gosh, we have Art one of the painting queens. Oh my gosh, this woman can paint. Like nobody's business. She could make a phone book look gorgeous. I don't know why I said it like that. I was going to say paint a dog turd, but I didn't think I could say that with that sound. So you're going to say it anyway. Yeah, you still said it. So I said it. So. Well, Donna always, um, when she was a vendor at Linden and we owned it, she was always a vendor that would bring in stuff. We were like, oh my God. And it would sell like that weekend. It would be done. She's amazing. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. 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 What? Moved to just ten minutes. Oh, you just moved, moved to a different, different place. So you did yeah. move. Just you were half right. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're just doing subtle distress on here. It's looking really cute. One more side to turn. Um, Miss Luann says nothing is open yet in PA. Yeah, I didn't think so. My son still lives there. Just until next week. And he says the same thing. They're starting to slowly open, but nothing's open yet. Well, yes. they were hit certainly a lot worse than we they were. Now, he lives in the Booney portion of Pennsylvania. He's in Shanksville, which is like the Flight 93, basically went down in my old backyard there. So he's kind of way out in the boonies. But, um, yeah, things are slowly opening up. It'll take time. People just need to learn to readjust and, and go for it. Now, you'll see I'm actually working between... Like I've been grabbing both brushes, so like yes, you have. kind of layering the the clear and the and the black, and I may even go in and add a little white because sometimes I really like the layered wax look. Right, right. I think that's fun. And I'm still like I've said before, new to finishes. I mean, I feel like I'm I'm pretty decent with painting with colors and styles and things like that. But as far as finishes, waxes and glazes and things. Just not experimented a lot with them, so I'm slowly trying to get into a groove with those. Yeah, my mother was a faux artist back in the 80s. The 80s, whoop whoop. So, and you know, faux was big in the 80s. I do. So, the 80s and 90s, she was a faux artist. She used to go and do, you know, the faux granite and leather walls and things like that. That's pretty cool. All the stenciling and and all of that good stuff. So, I learned from her. So, I will say. You know, I did, I did learn a long time ago. I'm excited to see that things like fraudage and glazing mm -hmm. and all those antique old world looks are back on furniture. They are. They're they not are. so much on the walls, although I start to see that coming back in the high end houses. Right. So eventually we probably will start seeing more of those foes in like everyday houses. Right. One of the houses we did a, uh, remember what we did on the walls? In Kingsland? Yeah, they're starting to bring that style back. We that took, turned out we amazing. took brown paper bags, put them all up, and wrinkled them, right. and then wallpapered it to the wall. And oh, then, I've seen that. And then painted over the top of it. So, it was so a you've got that picture. texture. Um, okay, do you remember what price you paid for that? I paid three ninety nine. And what are you thinking sell price? Uh, I'm thinking. What do you think Jessica's going to buy? I was going to say, well, how much Jessica. are we going to charge Jessica All right, for Jessica, that? how much are you going to pay for it? How Something is only worth as much as a person's willing to pay. 
I think, actually, I want to add a little more white wax, but yeah. I, I think we need the white wax. Um, <laughs> and um, any wax, any wax. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking like $15.99. I was just going to say that. I was going to say $78. That's so weird. I was just going to, what were you saying? John. You would just like be a studio days. audience member. <laughs> what are you thinking with these? What do you want to do with these? Are we waxing? A color? Um, I just dress more. I don't know why I'm petting it like a puppy, but I mean, I think it's got the right amount of distress on it. Maybe I think that it probably just needs a good top coat, to be honest. Okay, all right, that's fair. So I'm thinking I don't have over here, but let me go find some top coat. It won't take long. We can do wipes off. Okay, I'm just watching. My sister. Hi, my sister. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Cindy. Sue's whole family's here today. It's a family affair. Yeah, I like Wait. it with the white on it. Yeah, the layered one. And it's now become nice. a custom order. Now it's a custom order. <laughs> we charge that for is customs. true. That's well, see, I like layering the waxes because I do think you get, you know, it's kind of like the piece I painted on Friday. And the pieces that I painted on Friday, um, here, yeah, um, this one maybe. Um, so the piece I painted on Friday, that was that Cindy Crawford Bombay, mm -hmm. you know, I actually gave it a base color and then I gave it a white wash or a gray wash, then a white wash. And then I went over the details with a antiquing wax and then a white wax. And so, so every finish imaginable. And so really it, it layer, when you layer it out like that, it just, it, you can really see the character when there's good architecture in a piece, when there's good details, all those different things, you can you actually can see them all. It's not like can. It brings it all one out. cover. So now if you've got two that are too close together, but you may wonder, well, what's the point of putting putting a dark wax or a white wax over a dark wax? And I'll bring it up so you can see it now. That's it. Bring it closer to Jessica. Bring it closer to Jessica. Jessica's frothing at the mouth over there. So when you're actually looking up close, you can see the white and you can see the dark, and you can see how it just highlights in, in um, shadows in the different area. And that's what ultimately gives the piece a lot of character. And when people see that, that's what makes it feel um, like, like you didn't just paint it five minutes ago. Do, yes. Would you like to closer inspect Jessica? I did. She, she came up there. She's got her credit card What do you think? Can you, can you see the different layers? So I don't know how well you can on in, uh, in, on the camera, but but it's definitely in person. Shots, Jay, yeah, we're down. Down. That's right. Jessica discovered dark wax last week. She did. She did. Actually, she's discovered a whole new DIY section of herself. Like yeah. she's her crafter has emerged. She's. I'm telling you, it's this place. What do you need? You're looking over here. Oh, you're no, just looking good. to see? No, I was, yeah, I didn't know where you were. Right. So Patrick Murphy is watching. Whoop, whoop. Hello, husband. That's not my husband, but you're my husband. Are you ready for Friday? It's painting with Patrick. Everyone's painting talking about it. Painting with Patrick. Everybody's you're talking about it. You're all the rage, honey. Well, I'll say that you inspired somebody else, because like I said, we have Carly Lozo coming. Mm -hmm. Miss um, Carly will be here the following Friday. 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 Yeah. We could try so you're, Friday. So you're yeah. inspiring yeah. others to to come on and craft with us. Yes, you are, babe. You were the first, but not the last. How's our dog? What? Tell me how our dog is. Yes, Miss Jessica. So those candlesticks that you're doing right now, was that paint all the way dry, partially dry? It's or? mostly dry, mm -hmm. um, but it could like it could be all the way dry. It doesn't really matter with the wet distress as long as you haven't sealed it yet. Yeah. Uh, Once you've sealed it, game over. Right. Um, now you got to bring out sandpaper. Yeah. Or unless you're using Fusion. If you're using fusion and it's dry all the way, you might go get out. Definitely game over. Um, chains, chains. Heavy, heavy grit. How many coats of white did you put on there? Um, um, two. This was two. Two. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then a wet distress and then a top coat. Patrick says, "Well, I'm excited." Well, and you know, because I knew I was wet distressing, I'll say too that I didn't. I purposefully didn't like have full coverage because if I'm going to wipe it back. Right. There's no point in making sure every single ounce of it is covered. Just all that paint. Right. Just wiping it down. Hey, does Patrick like beer? Um, he's more of a bourbon gentleman when he yeah, does drink, which sweet. is rare. But I mean, he'll drink a beer. I think if you want to drink some Friday, what am I bringing? Oh, do you hear that, babe? 
you can come here and I'm, I don't know, I'm talking to my phone like this. I'm looking at the dang comment. You can come here on Friday and you have to have some alliteration and paint and India Pale Ale painting with Patrick. Painting with Patrick. With yeah. India. I just think that might become a regular segment or something. I don't know. And if there's a bee and a wolf, I'm gonna be. Oh, our puppy's sleeping. Shocker. You asked about Stevie. Yeah, I did. It's nap time for our puppy. We have a we have a eight month old gold retriever who is top of scale at 68 pounds yesterday. So yeah, he's come big. Yeah, he's yeah. I don't know. Big baby. I kind of thought that was his full grown size, but apparently. Patrick's predicting maybe another 20 pounds in a one bedroom upstairs apartment. Good times. Oh, look at you all wet distressing. Do you want me to top coat this? Yeah, yeah. All right. So this one is done. I'm gonna top coat the second one and we've got a set of candlesticks here. Okay, so we're, you know, just about done here. We'll mm -hmm. obviously show some glamour shots when um, they're, all, they're all finished and, yeah. and we'll do a little crimping on the floor. Oh, and, in case you didn't see, I mean, do I do want to show um, Sue's art from the other day? If you were watching on Wednesday, yeah, yes, let me grab that. Let me grab that right you now. You keep doing that. It's right. Oh yeah, let's okay. finish painting. Um, she she Got left it. to go. She she made some mistakes along the way. There were there were some there were some mistakes had. Um, mistakes were made. Mistakes were made, but on live, and you know that's not so bad because it means that that you can see when you make your mistakes that that everybody's human and make this makes mistakes but this is the final Ooh. result Ooh. and actually i'm just not gonna lie here you wouldn't have done that if it was done the right way i love this texture i love this whole bordered look i love it like that right so i'll do it i'll Happy do a accident. tutorial on how i fix this obviously not on this piece but i wanted to play with it and see if i could get what i liked first we used the um chalk art okay the paste so the, yeah the chalk the chalk paste mm -hmm. at the bottom um with like a squeegee brush and i'll show those yeah. and um and i used two different colors show how thick it is and it yeah, kind of left ridges definitely yeah. three-dimensional there you can see it on there patrick says nice wait what am i doing now <laughs> <laughs> you're not good <laughs> we're gonna go painting with patrick no, we're not. so and then she didn't get because she ripped her first one and then applied it upside down <laughs> Is why I needed the bottom covered, and then because the one broke and she was matching it, she didn't have it enough to go all the way around. So then I used um, I don't remember what color DIY it was, and that's in that palette spatula brush oh. um, to go around the outside to kind of mimic what I did here on the bottom. So, so this was accident. Uh, it was completed, it and we'll that. make a little frame, and then it will be up for sale. All right, and these are done. Top coated, distressed, cute little candlesticks. So you want to take right. us out while you're finishing? Alrighty, that? yes. Okay, so thank you all for joining us very much. We always appreciate it. Please feel free to share all of our videos. Get on YouTube and subscribe if you would like to do that. Rave Home Collection. Um, tune in on Friday when we have Painting with Patrick. We love you guys. We very much appreciate you. Thanks for watching.